Hello and welcome to the Play, Pause and Rewind tutorials. This is the first tutorial and it's about negative afterimage illusion. This illusion is pretty powerful and yet very easy to make. You may have watched some videos using this illusion and if you haven't you should before proceeding with this tutorial so you know what you're going to do. You can watch mine or any other video find, found on the internet. Uh, first you have to choose a picture, a photograph, drawing, painting or whatever picture in digital format. Uh, to make this illusion we need two pictures made out of it, so that are rendered to a video file. Uh, to do this we need a photo editing software and a video editing software. I will be using freely distributed paint.net and Windows Live Movie Maker. The Windows Live Movie Maker uh, depends on Windows platform so you have to have Windows to use it. But both can be downloaded for free. If you want you can use Photoshop or any other software around you open source or, or whatever. Okay so first we choose the picture make it negative and make it black and white and then it is combined into the illusion as one video file uh, so we start by opening our source picture which is this one uh, what i like to do with all of my videos is to make them hd quality it's a standard nowadays so why to do it in any other way? I cannot find a reason for that. So let's select rectangle select and select fixed ratio. Uh, select 16 for width and 9 for height. And select the area you want to keep in our illusion. And when you're done, click crop selection. Now we have the right proportions but we don't have the right resolution so let's resize it. Select image and resize and select 1920 for width. HD resolution is 1920 pixels for width and 1080 pixels for height. Hit OK. Now it's the right size. We want to year the year of this to this uh, illusion. Watch at the center of the image the whole time the video is running. So we want to make a dot in the center. Let's add a new layer. Select paintbrush and let's say 70 pixels for brush width and select a color that stands out in our picture. We hit it somewhere in the center. If you want, you can use a paint.net plugin called Align Object to put it exactly in the center. It doesn't really matter if it's center or not, but well, I like to do it exact. Go back to the background layer and from adjustments, choose invert colors. Now we have the colors inverted and let's save this file. Let's save it as JPEG and name it inversion and click save. Select 100 for quality and flatten. Now we have done the one out of two pictures. Let's undo the flatten and invert colors and from adjustments select black and white. And save this file as well as JPEG and let's name it black and white. Quality 400, hit OK and flatten. 
now we have all the files we need for the illusion switch to Windows Live Movie Maker and browse the files uh, we need black and white and negative and hit OK uh, the right order for these pictures is to the negative picture to go first that you mix up your brains and then the black and white picture now uh, what we need is to change the duration of these files because the standard time is five sex per photograph so let's change it to 15 seconds for inverted and another 15 seconds for black and white and when we're done you you change the aspect ratio to widescreen and if you want you can add titles to your video uh, like uh, tell us what the viewer should do when watching this video so what you need is to keep your eyes fixed on the dot in the center add your titles our credits and save your movie as high definition let's give our movie a proper name uh, after image illusion and hit save and now it renders our movie file and when you're done I hope it worked for you and you can see the illusion if not, you can try out some other picture that would turn out better. Uh, well, I appreciate a wider response if you make a make some illusion with this tutorial. So, thank you for watching.